Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I make food and fitness content and if you're not new here, welcome back to the YouTube channel. This week we are gonna be doing a four weeks worth of workouts. So as you know, I train kind of like following more of a hybrid style. I run a lot, but I also like to train in the gym. And I know I've done one of these not that long ago. I think I did it on my taper week just to show you guys what a taper week prior to a marathon looked like. However, I think all of my week's worth of workouts recently have been in training blocks for marathons. Like I think that's the only real style of like week's worth of workouts I've done this year. So I thought let's do a week's worth of workouts for the girlies that enjoy their running, enjoy long distance running, but also enjoy the gym, but aren't necessarily training for anything. So just kind of like a fun week's worth of workouts. I have actually designed myself like a whole new split. So the split that I'm gonna be following is two full body days, one full on glute day and three running days because off the back of the marathon, I mentioned this last week, I thought I was gonna really like wanna be like in my weight training. And I just like haven't really felt like that, but I still want to weight train. There's still certain areas of weight training that like I really wanna hit and I still wanna work on, but I also wanna incorporate that with like some full body stuff because that's just what I enjoy more, but also still have enough time for all my runs. And I just couldn't quite compute how to like do all those things. So I sat down, I've written myself a really good split that I'm really excited to do. So we're gonna be doing two full body days. One is gonna be pull focused, one is going to be push focused which is probably the thing that i'm most excited about because i'm hitting all of my push and pull exercises for upper body that i enjoy but i'm also pairing of like some lower body stuff that's going to help me with my runs but also some abdominal exercises because i don't really train like core strength and i feel like core strength is just generally important if you want to be like quite functionally fit and then we're going to be doing one heavy glute weighted session a week i love training glutes i made a lot of progress with my glutes over the course of my marathon and i really want to like maintain if not like build on that progress so having like one glute focused day is really going to help me do that then we're going to be doing three running days a week but i'll crack more into those when we get onto the running portion of the video but without further ado let's head to the gym we're going to be doing our first pull full body session today so first thing i started with was a quick banded warm-up just to make sure my shoulders and back were nice and warm because we were starting with chin-ups so this is my new journey that we're going on together i am determined that by the end of the year i'm going to get a chin-up so I wanted to start by doing three sets of banded chin-ups. I did accidentally start with the lighter band, which was a bit of a mistake, but we did get a good few reps here. But after those eight reps, I did realize that I probably needed to swap over to a heavier band just for a bit of extra assistance. Guys, I was so humbled. I couldn't get my feet in this band. I kid you not, it felt like about five minutes. Look at me, I literally look like a lost puppy. I was just having to like laugh at myself. Then I was looking around for help and honestly, I had to walk away. I had to just walk away for a second, have a breather before getting back to it. I finally got my foot in the band and we had a lot more successful reps with this one. So we managed two sets of 10 reps here, which like I said, I was really proud of. This is my starting point for this journey and I'm just determined to at least get one because I'm fed up of not being able to do a chin up. I've even started this little note section on my phone so I can keep track and make sure that I am doing all my reps every single week and actually working towards my goal. Then I jumped into the first superset of the workout. So I was doing RDL. So I was doing four sets here of eight reps. I was trying to go as heavy as possible on these. Obviously with the fact that I'm still doing three runs a week, I'm not pushing my weights too hard, especially because I haven't really trained legs in a while. So I definitely didn't want really bad doms. Like I said, this was a superset. So as soon as I finished my eight reps of RDLs, I was going straight into 12 reps of abdominal leg crunches. I'm basically incorporating these as well because I really want to work on my core strength. I don't tend to do any exercises that target core strength. So I thought if I include them in a superset, I'm making sure that I'm taking them off. And this was also a lot harder than it looked, especially for my grip strength. Like look at my hands afterwards. Definitely going to be developing a few calluses from those, but that'll be great for hanging grip strength as well for my pull-ups. Then we went into another superset. If you can't tell, I do love superset. For me, they just keep things super interesting. So I was doing three sets. The first exercise we were doing is 12 lateral pull downs. Again, I'm trying to go as heavy as possible on these. And we were actually supersetting these with cable kickbacks. The first thing I want to say here is I forgot my ankle strap. So I was having to use this weird little contraption. I felt like I was all over the place. So if my form is not looking very sharp that is definitely why but i was doing 15 of these per leg and then i was doing that whole superset three times but then we have got a final superset of the workout so we were doing good morning supersetted with barbell rows for the good mornings we're doing 10 reps here these are a bit of an rdl slash good morning combination because i do have a slight bend in my leg for me that's how i feel it in my glutes the most and this is what i want that exercise to be targeting 
And then we're going into barbell rows. This is actually an exercise that I love and it's just so good for building up your back. But I was doing eight reps here as heavy as possible. These two exercises paired together are absolutely deadly. I felt like my whole body was on fire. Workout one of the week done. I really enjoyed that, guys. Um, that was obviously the first time I've ever done that, like, split or, like, workout. It was definitely tough. Like, my full body was, like, shaking, like, my legs. When I was doing those, um, like, good mornings at the end, I was like, I am gonna collapse in a second. Like, I could really feel it. And when I was doing those, like, abdominal, like, leg raises, oh, my God, I felt so awkward doing them because I've never done that as a movement before. And it was really testing because, like, not only is that testing, like, your abs, it's also testing, like, your grip strength and your, like, hand ability but that is also going to complement my like chin-up journey that I'm going on so like the longer you can hang the better it is for practicing chin-up so hopefully those two things will like work hand in hand together but yeah don't have the best like abdominal strength which is why I really want to work on it so that definitely felt like a bit strange if you guys have like an ab like one of those like ab ab contractions i'm gonna put a photo in so you know what i'm talking about if you have one of these in your gym use that it will be so much easier we don't have one of those in this gym so that was why i put the bar behind me to kind of like support my back and just like keep the focus on like my abs as opposed to like letting me just like swing around because there is no way i would have been able to do that without that bar behind my back but yeah workout one of the week done we did just bump into mia in the gym and it is her birthday tomorrow so we're actually going to train together tomorrow so i'm terrified if i'm going to be completely honest with you that girl can outlift me in a heartbeat but it's not about that we're more like you know functional friendly fitness running queens over here she's heavy lifting muscle mummy vibes but it's her birthday and it'll be really fun anyway so we'll do like a fun birthday glute session with me in the morning hi 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 <laughs> hi guys we are hi doing guys. a mic'd up workout for Mia's birthday i'm gonna be sick that breakfast is gonna go up Mia's gonna be taking us through her juicy glute session today i don't know why i'm yeah. like shouting because you can hear me from the microphone anyway yeah. um so yeah should we just crack in yeah yeah They're quite heavy mia did say that we should share a barbell rack but um quickly we came away from that decision because she just was heavier than i fucking do you know like 80 i was like i'm like more of a 40 kind of girl so that's just not i actually don't know why i put this on this is really heavy how many, how heavy is it mm, like 90. you'll be fine fucking hell Sink. <laughs> Everybody wants to get big, but nobody wants to lift this heavy ass weight. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I'm happy you can put more on. Do you? 65? No, 70. How many more sets have we got? One? Yeah. Okay. Just full send it for the last one. <laughs> um, help. But once you like settle into it. Yeah. And then you. Because this moves. This feels so strange. Are you going to strap yourself in? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to free it. Free lift it. <laughs> free lift it. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, is, it is it definitely? Script. Have you seen that video of that girl doing it? Oh, my She's She goes like this. And it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna laugh so much if you can't get out. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And then go down quite far. It just doesn't feel very natural. We're not doing cast glute bridges today. Ooh, all the way. Yeah. Does it feel alright? Yeah. <laughs> Don't make eye contact. Stop with looking at me. Doing. <laughs> up in the glute that's yeah. on the bench. Okay. Jeez, bunda. Does it look thick? Yeah. Yeah. It's the money shot right there. <laughs> Good morning guys. Right, first things first. My camera died. 
um, literally at the end of yesterday's session. I'm not gonna lie. I promised us a juicy glute workout and it was Mia's birthday. We were just having a lot of like giggles. You probably saw from the video, we were just having a lot of fun. There wasn't that much working out that went on. We did RDLs, we did glute drive and then we did cable step ups. <laughs> so it wasn't really the most intense glute day of our lives. We both kind of left and was like, the vibes were great, but the session was pretty shit really. But Hopefully that just shows you that like you can go to the gym and have fun and like it's not the end of the world like not every session has to be serious That's the spin that I'm trying to put on it to basically say I'm really sorry for not giving you a really good glue work But hopefully you were able to have a giggle because I literally don't think I've ever laughed that much through a gym session in my whole entire life Today is a run day. I'm really excited. I've not actually run for I think it's probably been like five six days now because of being ill over the weekend But we are back. We are ready and we are raring to go and we're gonna go do a trail run today So I mentioned in last week's video that I tried out a trail run and I just like absolutely loved it Like it just felt like a whole new experience and so many of you in the comments were like yeah trail running is like the best thing ever Like why have you been running on the roads for so long? So I'm trying to incorporate it more in some running routine just to keep it like really fun so if you are feeling a little bit bored of your road running just always remember that like maybe on a weekend you could just take like a little drive somewhere like i'm sure there's parks nearby or little trails that you can take and run to and just change up the scenery make it a little bit more exciting but for trail running you probably need to look into different trainers for a few reasons first of all i'll show you my trainers that i wore on the trail last week this is the current state of them. I still need to clean these because these are my favourite ones. And these are the ones that I run the marathon in. So weirdly a little bit sentimental about them. I really don't want to get rid of them. But yeah, they are looking slightly worse for wear at the moment. Also, with trail running, you're obviously going to get different terrain. It's not as flat and as like steady as the road, which I personally think is like better for you and for your legs. Like it's not good to just be running on like flat concrete all the time it's good to kind of have like some different like inclines and stuff but in light of that because you're gonna have like rocks and maybe like puddles and just like branches and things that you might have to like run across you're gonna need a sturdier shoe with better grip so that is why i've invested in my first ever pair of trail running shoes without further ado let's go and get into the run i think we're going to aim to do a 10 kilometer this is going to be like my mediumish run of the week but we are still bearing in mind that i haven't run in a few days and i have been a little bit run down so if at any point i'm feeling a bit poorly i might just make this my shorter run but we'll just see how we go it is a really beautiful day so i feel like as soon as i start running i probably am just gonna want to keep running and not stop oh also headphones i haven't spoken about these on youtube yet i have spoken about them on instagram i cannot explain to you how much i love these headphones so i will be completely transparent these were gifted i have also worked with shocks on an ad this is not a paid advertisement this is just me telling you because i genuinely love them these have changed the headphone game for me and i'm going to compare them because i wore the beats all the time you guys know i always wore beats through training these are just they're just they're just a better headphone, like I'm just gonna be completely honest. So the way these work, they don't sit in your ear. They send the sound through like vibrations, I believe. So it doesn't sound like the music is like in your ear. It sounds like the music is like around you, which at first I was like, oh my God, where is that coming from? And I was like, no, it's my headphones. But it sounds like it's like playing next to you rather than like, in your ears so at first i found that really strange because my beats were noise cancelling and these are not noise cancelling and i was like oh i don't know how i feel about that i actually think number one it's so much safer to be running with headphones like these than noise cancelling headphones number two it's so much nicer especially when you're doing things like trail runs when you're out and running it's really nice to kind of like listen to like the nature around you because like you're obviously in a really beautiful environment genuinely i couldn't recommend them enough and i am also gonna say stay tuned for the next portion of the video after the trail run because i have been cooking up a storm cooking up a giveaway basically i really wanted to like do something that could kind of like give back to say like thank you so much for all the support this year especially like the support through like my marathon journeys but the support on like youtube and instagram and tiktok like it's been really lovely and also everybody's been so supportive of my running journey like i wanted the opportunity to give back to at least one person's running journey so i have basically prepared the ultimate running girly giveaway like trust me this giveaway has everything you need to become a running girly and if you're looking to get into running or if you're already in running and you just want like the best of the best equipment for it the giveaway is what you need to be entering so i'll give you guys all the details after the run of like what's going to be included how you can enter all that kind of stuff but i am so excited about this and i just cannot wait for like one person to get all of these things and one of the prizes included is a lovely new pair of shock headphones but anyway i'm going to stop yabbering let's go get this 10 kilometers done we have arrived at the trail run it is so 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 cold today that it's almost like hard to see like i feel like because there's no sun really it's like tucked away behind the clouds like it's not been able to kind of like get rid of the mist so it's a very misty day so i feel like it's going to be like a very creepy trail run today Oh my god, 
these guys my hands are so cold i really didn't expect it to be this chilly i don't know why i'm not wearing gloves but that was a huge error on my side behind me. I nearly stacked it into the mud. So grateful that I have these trainers up right now. <laughs> oh my god. Right, I need to get on the steady path. Jesus. <laughs> it's literally like icy in the puddles. I am so cold. <laughs> But we've got one more kilometre to go. I feel like I can't even talk because my lips feel so cold right now. Oh my goodness. I'm going to say it once. I've already said it 10 times. It is really freaking cold outside. Like, that was so chilly. At one point, I was like, my fingers are on fire. You know when they start to burn because they're so cold? And I had them, like, in my sleeves like this. And then at one point, I was running like this. But <laughs> we are back. That was such a lovely despite the cold 10k the trail shoes loved them like i felt so supported i've got no kind of like leg pains touch wood sometimes normally it kind of like kicks in so the next day when you kind of have like doms it's like it feels a bit like oh something kind of is aching um but they felt great and also it was super icy and like rocky out there so i felt like i wasn't slipping over at some points i was like if i was wearing my asics i probably would have twisted and broken an ankle by now i think i do want to say because <laughs> i'm sure you guys are probably watching that like how are you not scared you're gonna get murdered that was pretty creepy because of like the mist and like the visible conditions and i just want to say if you are going to try out trail running i'm going to be a mum for a second if you are going to try out trail running please be really tight on your personal safety trails are usually quite like woodlandy or like foresty or like that like big kind of country-ish pathways where like there's not many people walking around sometimes and as a female you really have to like put your safety first so number one do not do those kind of runs at night time make sure you're running in the day when it's lit and there's other people walking around like walking their dogs and stuff number two tell somebody where you're running at all times drop somebody a text say this is where i'm going i'm gonna do a trail run i'll probably be about an hour and then text them as soon as you finish add your friends or family off on my iphone so they can track you the whole time when you're running and just be really like vigilant those shocks headphones like i mentioned earlier are probably one of the best headphones you can take when you do runs like that because you can still hear around you do not wear anything like noise cancelling or like over the head where you're not going to be able to like hear people if they were like to say come up behind you worst case scenario anything like that and just be really vigilant like if you feel unsafe at any point it's not worth it head home head back to your car even if you're on like 3.6 kilometers just call it a day and run it in home because it's definitely not worth it and your safety comes first but yeah i'm gonna stop being a mum now i just felt like i had to put that out there because even when i was running then i was like i feel like i need to not be like encouraging you guys to just like head out on a trail with like no safety concerns like it's different to road running because with road running there's cars constantly going past you're constantly around people this is just like a little bit more like isolated and you just have to be a bit more cautious but i will see you guys tomorrow hi guys so i had actually previously filmed this portion of the video although frustratingly i forgot got to mention one of the biggest prizes in the giveaway so i'm just gonna refilm it we're just gonna pretend like it's wednesday or thursday or whichever day it was and it's not actually sunday and we're just gonna insert it seamlessly and then we're gonna move on to the next workout of the video but trust me this is worth refilming it to get it right because this giveaway is genuinely everything you can need and more for your running journey and i'm so excited for one of you to be getting your hands on all of these incredible prizes so without further ado let's run through each and every single prize that one of you could be winning like i mentioned there is so many incredible prizes in this giveaway in case you can't tell from everything laid out in front of me but let's jump into prize number one so the first prize is that you are going to be in with a chance of winning every single guide that we have available on the strong girl society that includes all of our running guides the recipe guide and the guide itself along with these you are also going to get the marathon guide when it launches on the 26th of december then next up our friends at my protein have very kindly offered you a 400 pound my protein voucher along with a year's supply of protein wafers so you're not even going to have to spend your voucher on probably your favorite item from my protein which is the wafers because you're already going to receive those that is 400 pounds to spend on my vitamins my protein mp clothing trust me you can get so much with 400 pounds on my protein you will be stocked up and ready to go then for the next prize of course it wouldn't be a holly brooks giveaway if we didn't include some percy pigs so you are also going to win a year's supply of percy pigs but not only could you win a year's supply of percy pigs you will also win a year's supply of square bars i live and breathe squares bars this is genuinely the prize that really makes me want to enter my own giveaway but unfortunately i can't do that then for your running wardrobe dreams we are going to be giving you a 300 pound voucher 
for Lululemon. Think of the amount of cute winter running fits you could get with 300 pounds at Lulu. For the next prize, you are also gonna be in with a chance of winning a Whoop band. I have been using my Whoop band religiously. It has really changed the game for me and my running journey. But not only that, you're also gonna win a 12 month subscription to Whoop along with the band. I have already gone on about these a lot, so I'm not gonna bore you to death, but they genuinely are such a game changer for your running journey. And I cannot wait for one of you to try them out. Then, this is a big one. We are gonna be giving you a Garmin, which is actually very kindly gifted from our friends at Strava. Not only that, they are also gonna be giving you Strava Premium for a year. I've used Strava all throughout my running journey. I absolutely adore it. It is like a personal diary entry for me on every single run that I go on, and it's just incredible to track your progress. So for 2024, it's definitely a must have. And Strava Premium will give you access to all of their incredible features. Then, last but not least, I'm gonna be giving you a 200 pound voucher for ASICs. You guys know I have worn ASICs trainers for the past year. They are my ride or die when it comes to running. And they truly have such high quality shoes. And I cannot wait for one of you to invest in a really good pair of running trainers. But that is every single prize that we have available. I cannot wait for one of you to get your hands on these. I'm going to be picking the winner in a week's time. But this is how you enter. You need to head to my Instagram, which is at hollyb underscore fitness at 5 p.m. today. That is when the giveaway will be going live. In order to enter, all you need to do is like the post. And of course, don't forget to tag friends and drop a comment if you want a bonus entry as well. And like I mentioned, I will be picking the winner in a week's time so yeah good luck guys i cannot wait and i hope you are equally as excited this is genuinely every single product that i love and use religiously throughout my running journey so it feels really special to be able to give them away but also help one of you with your running journey and without further ado let's jump into the next workout of the week right let's jump into this week's full body push session push session sorry that was such a tongue twister first things first i started by doing some press ups i did three sets here of as many reps as possible my aim again kind of like with the chin ups is to be able to do these not on my knees by the end of the years maybe to get two or three reps i did get up to five but post boob drop i've just been struggling to get them back then I jumped into my main compound lift of the session. We were doing some squats here. So before squats, I just did a quick bit of mobility to make sure my hips and just general legs were nice and awake. Then I did one set of 12 reps just with the bar to make sure the movement felt really nice and I was just ready to add some weight on. Also, let me just demonstrate what not to do when a barbell is on your back in a second. Um, maybe don't take your shoes off while you've got the weight on your back. I don't know why I did that. Watching this back, I was like, that was so stupid and like probably gym 101 of what not to do but anyway i did live to tell the tale after taking my shoes off so i did eight reps here these weren't super super heavy i knew i had a long run the next day so i didn't ramp up my weight too much and i did four sets then after my squats i cracked into my first superset of the session so i was doing dumbbell shoulder press superset with walking lunges so you're starting off with eight shoulder press then you're going to be going and doing the walking lunges for the walking lunges you're going to be doing 16 reps and you're going to be holding the weight above your head and as soon as you hit eight reps just swap the weight over into the other hand trust me your shoulders are going to be on fire after doing shoulder press and then holding this weight up then we go into the final superset of the session where we're doing leg presses superset with car raises for the leg press i kept the weight super light these give me doms like no other exercise and i haven't done them in a really long time and because i knew i had a long run i knew the last thing i needed was to wake up with the worst leg doms in the world so after 10 reps here we're going to go to calf raises for the calf raises you want to grab a weight and also some kind of like platform i just piled up two plates which was absolutely perfect and then you're going to do each leg one at a time while holding the weight these burn and my calves are actually still on fire two days later but if you're a runner these are really really good to build up your calf strength then we're going to finish it with two sets of weighted sit-ups for these sets i just did as many reps as possible you literally just want to keep going until you possibly cannot lift that weight up anymore Good morning, good morning, good morning. Sorry I didn't sign off yesterday. That's actually really rude. I literally finished the workout and to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I got in my car and just felt a little bit flat. Like I just didn't feel like that workout hit as much as my pull day did. So I was like, I think I need to add a little bit more spice to it. But that was kind of the plan I wrote down. I was like, right, I'll just go with it. I'll see how it feels. But I feel like it just it just needed something else. It just needed a bit of a kick. I don't know whether it was me or whether it was a workout, but like it just felt a little bit flat. But it is run day it is long run day the weather is stunning today it is also the first of december so i've been cranking out all christmas music all morning and that's all i'm gonna listen to on my run i'm so excited i actually cannot wait to go on this run i obviously haven't run <laughs> this far in a really long time like since the marathon which was now like three and a bit weeks ago but i feel confident in myself like i feel like i can definitely do it endurance wise it might be a bit sore on my body just because 
it is a little bit further than I've been doing recently. We're gonna just go for it. We're gonna see how it feels. Again, like there's no pressure. I'm not putting any pressure on myself this time of year. If I'm like, oh my God, this is hideous. I'll just maybe do a little bit of a shorter long run. We're still gonna go for over at least an 18 kilometer. That's what we're gonna aim for. We should be fine. And we're gonna be listening to Christmas music. So we're gonna be having a great time. It is horrendously cold outside. So just a few quick little tips when it's cold. A little neck scarf. These things are life-saving because I don't know about you guys, but when my neck gets cold, I am freezing. So this is Lulu. We're also learning from the mistake we made earlier in the week so we've got next car from lulu i've got gloves today because i'm not letting my hands get that cold also i'm gonna do my warm-up inside so i'm gonna make sure my body is super warm so i'm basically sweating by the time i get outside so i'm just like ready and raring to go i think those are the main few tips like i think the thing with it being cold is like guys it's gonna be cold it's chilly it's like minus one degrees in the uk but the thing is you are gonna warm up like trust me within the first kilometer your body will regulate and you will be warm and you won't feel cold if you do feel like you're gonna get outside just hey just pop a jacket on and then tie it around your waist when you're running personally i don't like having things like flapping about so that just wouldn't work for me but just lay it up you can always take layers off you can never add layers on and it's better to be warm than it is to be cold just remember that but yeah without further ado let's do a quick little jump around warm up get myself sweating and then get out <laughs> I'm sorry that you messed up, but I don't seek revenge I'm leaving with my head up, yeah, I know I can pretend Yeah, I know I can pretend Alright guys, I'm three kilometers in I've already warmed up, so the gloves are off, my face feels warmer Body definitely feels warmer, so it just goes to show As soon as you get that first one or two kilometers out of the way You'll be flying, I promise you Right, guys we just hit 12 coming up to the last portion of the run still feeling really good but i did come out i'm not gonna lie with a 20 in mind but i was just running and i was like i've not run over 10 since marathon like to double my distance today yeah it would be a good achievement mentally but physically i think i would have to pay the price for it so we're just gonna head for i think we'll probably hit like a 16 or 17 today which definitely feels like a lot kinder on my legs 18k done Mouth, the phone on. Oh my god, look at how cold it is. There is a literal icicle. It is that cold. Oh my god, what have I spit up? <laughs> it's that cold. Oh my goodness, right. Time to stretch. run ended up being like such a good run i don't know why like i just i would a little bit my mouth is still very cold i don't know why i think i was just like expecting it to be like tougher more like mentally but like actually like physically I felt really fit i know i said that like i wanted to do 20 and end up doing 18 so i think next week is the week of, like i'll just push it like a little bit further but there was no need to go out today it's just hard sometimes because you're just like oh like I'm just gonna send it, I'm just gonna full send it, I'm just gonna do like half marathon. I'm just like, no, like actually, while those things seem fun, like those are the reasons that you get injuries and also it's just not sensible. And it's always like halfway through the run, it kind of kicks in because you start to get a little bit tired and your brain is kind of like, do we really need to? And it's like, actually no, the sensible part of my brain comes in. But yeah, that felt really good, like physically, fitness wise. I felt super warm in all my kit that I had. Guys, if I can influence you to ever buy anything, it is that snood. This was an absolute godsend. Like, it's so lightweight. In the videos, it kind of looked like it was, like, bouncing around, but at no point did I feel it bouncing around. And I'm, like, really sensitive to stuff like that. Like, if something on my vest is, like, flapping around, I'm like, oh, my God, I can't run. Like, I need to stop. I need to stop it. But, like, even though that was bouncing, it's so lightweight. Like, I didn't really feel it. And at any point when, like, my mouth just felt super cold, you just, like, put it over, do a couple of deep breaths, and it just instantly, like, warms your face up. It's going to be coming on every run with me now. Right, I'm going to go get a warm meal in myself, get some warm water washed over my body. That was a really weird way to say that I'm going to have a warm shower. And 
I'll see you tomorrow for the last workout of the week. Good morning guys and girls. There's not really much to report this morning. We're going off on our last run of the week. Also, this isn't the following day. I had a rest day yesterday because after that 18 kilometers, I needed it. My legs were definitely feeling like they'd run 18 kilometers. So we have had a rest day. I'm feeling a lot fresher this morning and we're just gonna get out on a nice Sunday morning 5K. The weather isn't, it's not doing bits. It's been really nice all week and today it's just not, it's not really looking great. So I think it's kind of one of those ones, the sooner we're out, the sooner we're back. Oh, guys, because I put my gilet on, I obviously forgot to put my scarf on. <laughs> so now my face is really chilly, but it's definitely a different vibe on today's run than it was early in the week. The sun is definitely not shining. We finish, I'm leaving with my head up, yeah, no, I can pretend. Yeah, no, I can pretend. Right, to run, done. I don't know how I felt about that. Like, it wasn't my favorite run, I'm not gonna lie. I just think like, I really enjoyed that 18. And I think I just really enjoy like longer runs because you get more space like mentally to kind of like switch off. And I just didn't feel like, my brain was just like going around. Like I was like, Holly, just stop thinking. But I did need to get a 5K this week. So I'm grateful that I did it. And it just goes to show that like actually, <laughs> 5Ks are harder than like longer runs sometimes. Like I was doing that and I was like, this is actually really tough. Like I'm not having the best time here. But that is the week's worth of workouts done. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like I said, I just kind of want to show you like the style of training I will probably follow when I'm not training for anything. So hopefully this could just give you a little bit of inspiration. But without further ado, I'm going to sign off the video here. Don't forget to go and enter the giveaway at 5pm today. And hopefully one of my lovely YouTube family members will win the prizes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And I'll see you next Sunday.